What's good, Sagittarius? This is your reading for July 2024, so I'm going to pull the energy, and we will see what wants to come through for you. Let's see. <laughs> block, block. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination. Yep, for the sign of Sagittarius. Cool. <laughs> There's a two-way street love train coming to town, and you don't want to miss this one. I'm going to say that right now. What did he say? He said this. A, he said he, he, he. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what's going on here for you, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going on here. So before we get into the um, tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards. And these oracle cards contain the energy that you need more of for uh, the month of July. And the first one is an energy of protection. You have uh, Archangel Michael. All right, Michael. So, this is really about protection. This card says, you are safe. Angels, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So, Archangel Michael is here, and this is really about protection. There may be someone new coming into your life that you may feel called to protect. You also may have someone new coming into your life to protect you spiritually and physically, I feel, for many of you. The interesting thing here, <laughs> when I said a two-way a two love train, whatever I said, is that you have faith is the next energy that you need, faith in a vision, faith that all works out for its highest good. But the most interesting thing about this combination, Sagittarius, is that Michael and faith in this particular deck <laughs> are twin flames. And what this means is that is that they are divine mirrors, divine reflections of, the, of each other, and they complete each other, like the yin-yang symbol, right? And so you have a twin flame situation coming online for many of you who believe in that. Some of you, this is going to feel like bad karma. Let me tell you this right now. For some of you, um, you have a situation that is going to be very exciting yet feels karmic, but it actually may not be, you know, and it depends what you mean by karma. There's definitely a shakeup to your love life for all of you listening to this. And for many of you, it is going to involve someone who is a reflection of you. It is going to involve someone very special. Okay, for some of you, this is definitely, it, it is speaking new energy as well. For many of you, Sagittarius, this is going to be a, a new beginning with someone that you have past dealings with. But for many of you, it's going to be a new beginning altogether. But faith here, the energy, d despite whatever you got going on in love, you have faith, humanity, and benevolence. And this card is, is and this is what the advice is to you as well with e any situation that goes far beyond romance. Sagittarius for July 2024 is the advice here and the energy you need more of is to learn to see the good in people even if you don't want to and it doesn't mean that you have to take you know I'll accept you as you are but that doesn't mean I have to take you as you are I'll accept you as you are that does not mean I have to take you as you are but what the universe is advising you to do is to try to understand the good in someone 
even if it's hard for you to do so because like this energy is understanding the baseline of humanity is good you know the devil tries to come in and invert everything twist everything this energy is saying to you sagittarius to understand that humans are, are basically good and if you can put yourself in that perspective it will be easy to understand why people are the way they are that's why i'm such a big proponent of astrology because if you look at someone's chart and you look at they have mars square pluto they are going to be up in people's face they're going to be causing chaos they're going to be a troublemaker but if you understand that if you were born if you were born with mars square pluto like they were you would also be that so there's a paradigm shift coming in here where you can accept people the way that they are and learn to like view it from why are they doing that doesn't mean they're right i can accept you the way you are i can understand you doesn't mean i have to take you the way you are but i can understand it but you have humanity faith and benevolence stay calm trust the good in yourself and others see the light in the world that's your choice this month but you have a reflection situation and you have a twin flame situation you also have diana who is the goddess of the hunt goddess of the funk sand coffin <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. But you have Diana here. And this is about focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. And so there's definitely something here about, you You know, dream as big as you want. And, you know, dream big is what I would really feel. And really make sure you break the targets and, and, and do the things that you need to do mentally and physically. Because intention is not just mental. Intention is something that... It's almost like if you have a desire to lift your arm up, it doesn't mean you're going to actually lift your arm up because it's your desire. Oh, I really want to be able to lift my arm up. People get trapped in that even though they can. And that's a metaphor for anything else you want to do, anything you, you want to create, any desire that you have. If it remains a desire, it may remain a desire forever. Because the difference between desire and intention is intention is that you say, I am going to lift my arm up, but the difference is, is that you don't just desire it, you also follow through and, and, and mentally, spiritually, and physically, emotionally, and cosmically do the things that actually get you to the dance, do the things that actually, it's the difference between wanting to move your arm and actually just intending to do it and then you do it. So intention is what you need more of. Set intentions for your life and definitely set intentions in your love life because there's there, there there's going to be confusion surrounding your love life i can guarantee you that there may even be a sense of competition around your love life which does not you don't enjoy for some of you you're going to have to work through it because in the twin flame dynamic this ain't no soulmate this ain't no karmic this is a twin flame this means that they're going to trigger you sagittarius right and so know that you're protected and see the good in others and focus your intention. That will help you move through this. But it's a two-way love train coming to town. And it's almost like you it's just coming to town. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Your opportunity this month, Sagittarius, is the two of wands. And this is about a choice. You have a fork in the road le leading two different directions you have right now. And for some of you, this is going to be about the love decision. You have a risky option in front of you where you have the whole world in the palm of your hands. You can set any intention. And you also have a safe option existing behind you. Now, some of you are going to have the choice between a karmic and a twin flame. Some of you are going to have the choice between someone from your past and someone maybe still from your past for some of you, but someone newer or someone from uh, it feels like a distant lifetime's past uh, or someone from your physical past right and you have this two of wands here where you you have to make a choice a fork in the road now some of you this is about love in your romantic life and other things as well but for many of you what i also sense here is this is how you're going to deal with the little mosquito that's been biting you L listen a mantra that i want all of you a mantra that i want all of you to um say to yourself this month, Sagittarius, when things get tough, I want all of you to say this to yourself if you, if you so choose to follow me. I want you to say to yourself that my blood tastes good. Of course, mosquitoes are going to bite me. This blood tastes, my, I taste good. Of course, mis, of course, gnats and mosquitoes are going to bite me. I know I taste good. Of course, mosquitoes are going to bite me. That's what you have to say because a lot of you, this is a choice. This isn't even a choice in love. For some of you, it's going to be very obvious what you need to do in love. Even if there's a triggering situation, you're going to move beyond it. And you're going to know the truth about who you need to team up with, who you're, who is your twin flame. You're going to know. Even if there's pain involved, that's the twin flame thing. But for many of you here, this is about this, this two of wands 
is about how are you going to deal with the, the gnat? How are you going to deal with the mosquito? Are you just going to go like this and that's it? Or are you going to you gonna let it make you lose sleep? Are you going to let this little mosquito that is triggering your deepest wound, are you going to let it make you lose sleep or are you just going to treat it as the mosquito that it is? This could have to do with spiritual attack. This may have to do with something about that, you know, a mind mix going on in your reality. Because whenever you are closest, whenever you're doing the right thing, that's when the devil com comes by to mess with you. Whenever you're do doing the wrong thing, that's when the devil leaves you alone. And I feel like many of you are wakening up demons. You may have a few demons sent to you that... It's nothing. I mean, you're going to conquer it like a water off a duck's back for most of you. But I'm just saying it's still there. And yeah, but he's still there. And so it's like uh, he's not going to let his nephew fight Kalabit. So now your challenge is the four of cups. And, you know, the four of cups has to do with emotional apathy potential feelings of aloofness or rejection. It's about, eh, that seems good, but I ain't doing that because I'd rather have a secure emotion than a risky, unknown emotion. And so in some sort of case here, Sagittarius, for some of you, it's going to feel like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, especially with a love choice, especially with a companionship, teamwork, and especially with a love situation that just hits you where it hurts. I'm sorry. It's just there's something here where you're like, I don't even know what choice to make because I know that either choice that I make, I'm going to feel some sort of annoyance. I'm going to feel emotional apathy. I'm going to feel like I don't really want to be here, but I know I got to be here, but I'm still here, but it's annoying. So, you know, expect this, expect this, expect me, you know, expect this, expect this, expect me, you know, expect this, expect this, expect me. And this is your uh, Four of Cups challenge. Now, the Four of Cups also, you know, the number four has to do with stability. And the, the, the water has to do with emotions and psychic energy. And so your challenge is that, th is that for some of you, there may not be that, um, that emotional security because there are so many changes happening. And especially it's like, you know, some of you, what you're going to be feeling like in your overall general energy is you're going to be feeling like, picture you're lined up for a race, right? You're, you're going to run like a hundred meter dash. You're going to run like a sprint, right? And there's a guy about to fire the gun to go off. And like for like the beginning of the month, you are like just going to be in your zone. You're going to be in your flow. You're going to be like everyone's lining up, right? You see all the people next to you that are going to be on this race, right? And you're just good. Then like by like the end of the month, like right before the gun goes off, like you're going to get like bit by that same mosquito. And you're going to be like, it's going to like distract you for a second. It, it, like that's like the visual that's coming to me here. I also had more of the visual, but it went away. So maybe it's not meant to be said. So there's going to be a distraction um, that, that before the gun goes off. So it's like, don't get psyched out here. Don't get emotionally psyched out is what I really feel. Try your best not to do that. And that has to do with your intention. You create your own reality. No one else. It's you against you. Uh, it is a, it's just another, um, it's just another avatar. The head does not matter. I bring back a skull to their desk and I say, here you go, boss, another one. What do you want me to do? Okay. He's not going to let his nephew fight Kalabib. Okay. I tried to tell you that already. But here we go. Um, <laughs> you have... A, 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 in your overall general energy, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Now... That's super interesting because this has to do with a passionate new beginning. This also kind of looks like an erect penis. You know what I mean? And like, I, I just started to go there. But like for some of you ladies, like Diana's goddess of the hunt, hunt is like you, he, 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 you, you, he, he, uh, with you, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so with this energy combined with, it's like there's two new emotional beginnings and there's, there's two twin flames right and you also have the six of pentacles in reverse here so for some of you here there could be an issue with a new beginning that's very passionate but for some of you i get that you're almost like gonna be witnessing a twin flame union that could actually piss you off or like and, and for some of you i'm sorry you know if that's your story I just, I get that. I, I get some of you Sagittarius out there are like going to witness something that pisses you off because it has something to show you about you. That's really what I feel. Now, for some of you, disregard that. For most of you out there, this is going to be about, there could even be a, a little bit of a false star energy here. 
But at the same time, you have the twin flame energy. So you have to realize that this is a very confusing love situation, especially because it ends with this. Why would it end? Why would it start like this? And then why, why would it end like that? You know what I mean? So we're going to have to clarify this. Now, here's where it gets even worse, you know, because and it, actually not worse. Like everything here is for your highest benefit. I feel like for most of you, this is just within your own relationship thing. OK, but um, in what you don't see coming, you have the hermit in reverse. You have the death card upright and you have the five of wands upright. I don't know that 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 seems like um, that seems like facing a spiritual truth that transforms you through a little bit of fiery baptism. You know what I mean? Like black venom, then my silhouette. Like you might be baptized through some venom. You might be baptized through your own venom reflecting to you. You might be baptized by a head trip. You might have to say, you know what? Where's the off button to my mind? Um, off. Off. Wait. There you go. Now the mind is off. So you might have to like meditate. You maybe in what you don't see coming, it may feel like you are going within for answers, but there's something ha happening in the physical world that is that is messing with your um, with your inner state right now. And you have to know that you are protected right now. And you have to know that this is what you need more of. Intention. Focus on what you can control. Because this whole reading seems to me like there's an external influence messing with you. Even if that, for many of you, the external influence is just going to be a benevolent force in your life that you're just having trouble getting on the same page with, even if it feels divine. You know? And I feel like whatever this external force is, once again, make sure you protect yourself spiritually. Focus on what you can control. Or else you're going to get wrapped up. Uh, you're going to represent the Brooklyn click. And I know you feel freezing in that jacket. It just doesn't hit the goddamn same. But you know what? I, no speaking of English. I only do the math. And I also do the cash. And I also do everything. Motherfucker. Alright. So for some of you, there's going to be competition through you stepping up, I feel as well. You know, this is like answering the call. I get like uh, like the hero's journey. Like for some of you, this is going to be a point in time where you finally answer the call. You stare. You know, it's like the, it's like the, the it's like the bulls running into the eye of the storm. There's something here about you going at that thing that you've always been trying to avoid. Is really what I feel here, if, in wh whatever way that makes sense to you. But it may feel like a little bit you know, exciting, but, but once again, it's so exciting. And then it's like, you're Oh, I, I got the, the rest of that download. When I was saying that you were on that line about to start the hundred meter dash and that there was a bug that was going to bite you to distract you. The real channel message that I got that now finally came back to me to explain what this is, is that not only is there a mosquito that's going to bite you before the race, the gun goes off, but you're also going to piss yourself and you think it's just a little bit like you're so excited that you just you feel a little bit of piss you know uh and by the way uh you, you know wash it down with some human piss okay give me a break guys and so uh, okay and so you're actually going to not even be able to control your own piss so is a mosquito there's piss you back in naked and afraid okay and so <laughs> You have uh, in your advice. Okay, this is your advice, guys. Time to get serious. Okay, this is your advice. You have the Seven of Swords. You have the Page of Pentacles. And you have the Moon. This is some dark advice. I mean, if you combine the Moon, which is darkness, Black Venom, the Mas... <laughs> All they see is Black Venom, the Mas Silhouette. And you got the Seven of Swords here. I mean... This guy's on D ball. I mean, what, I mean, this is this is his. They, they're giving this guy stuff that makes his head grow. Okay, it's just embarrassing. Just embarrassing. Just embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing. Okay, I'm sorry. And so, just embarrassing. <laughs> and so, look, this is dark stuff. So I don't know what's going on here, but. Uh, I, I feel ultimately what this is about is this. This is the first meaning. I'm gonna stick with it for all of you. Okay. Don't. This is the only affirmation that you need. Is that you? You know you taste good. Of course the mosquito. Of course the mosquitoes are gonna bite you. You know you taste good. Of course the mosquitoes are gonna bite you. 
Sorry, I just had to get that out, bitch. And so it's like, okay. So what I'm trying to also say, what I'm also trying to say. Now, let's just give you the standard definitions. The advice here is to do something deceptive or is to steal the swords from the camp so the, the deception cannot occur. You also have the Page of Pentacles, which is about willing to put in the hard work, do the hard work, do the damn thing. And this is, by the way, based on not a holistic approach. This is the this is the pharmacia. You want the pharmacia, you got the pharmacia. And so the pharmacia is also saying, um, you know, there can be subconscious things going on right now. And this is not even the pharmacia. You know, this is just me coping, everyone. Okay. It is not, but it also is, which is what you're going to be learning. Now, this moon is also about the unknown. It's about embracing feminine energy, and it's about also sorting through illusions, right? The moon reflects the light of the sun. The moon reflects the light of the sun, okay? And I feel like there's something about immature you know, being willing to do the hard work, even if you don't know where it's going to get you, because you know that it is the thing that you must do. And, not, and and the Seven of Swords here as well is that I feel like there's a situation that some of you are going to feel like you're being tricked into taking a step back. Some of you are going to feel like you are being tricked into um, not being where you need to be. But ultimately, I don't think that's the case. I think, I think Sagittarius, that... Wherever you end up is where you need to be, and those who are truly good with faith, humanity, and benevolence, you must embrace whatever destiny has for you uh, as if you chose it. You must embrace it with an open heart. You must embrace it with dignity and honor and a duty to do what you need to do, even if you don't want to do it. That's what discipline is. It's doing what you need to do even when you don't want to do it. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what needs to go on here. There needs to be some sort of new, perhaps, discipline that you feel is... Um, unwanted. It doesn't. It's not very fun. This is weird. This is messed up. You know. But this is what's going on. And so that's really it. And you know, to be honest, this reading was so crazy that the only card that I'm going to clarify. You know, we'll clarify a few. The first one I actually want to clarify is why this card is here. Because the reason why is because I do an 11 card spread, but I do a nine card spread in the the main spread. And this is the centerpiece, which means that it bleeds into, you know, in the, if you have nine cards, three, 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 the one in the middle touches every single other card. And the one that touches every other card is the death card, which is about death, transformation, rebirth, psychology, and sexuality. Okay. <laughs> and so, and so let, let's see what this is about. The death card is clarified by the King of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is some sort of deep, painful transformation that's going on here. You might feel like you're, you might feel like someone's being very cold. You may feel like you're being re required to be cold. You don't want to. There's some sort of deep-seated mental pain here. But the key word here is mental pain. I feel. And there could be some sort of mental pain as a result of lack of what, y of of physical ret retribution. You know, the Six of Pentacles is a suit of the earth element, things happening in the physical world, daily routine, daily work, giving and receiving, uh, balance in the physical daily day to day mundane routine. That I that energy, that energy, somehow leads to a lot of mental pain. And the next card that you have is the Hanged Man, though. And the Hanged Man is all about letting go. The Hanged Man is your solution. And I'm not saying, you know, based on the advice, I wouldn't even say surrender. I, there's nothing you can do to surrender here. There's not much energy that's advising you to just surrender. But what it is advising you is to see this from a different perspective. Look at this situation from an angle that currently is opposite to that of what the one causing you pain. And no, in this case, it's not escapism. And it goes full circle because this energy, Sagittarius, of faith is all about seeing the good in other people, even if you can't or even if you don't want to, knowing that even if I mentally cannot understand the situation, what other people do has nothing to do with me. 
It says everything about themselves. And remember that. Fear is stronger than love. Remember that.